So my full name is uh, Muhammad Jihad Naim, and uh, Arab uh, culture, tradition, it's uh, you take your father's name as your middle name, and probably my father's name is Jihad. So uh, post 9-11, I'd say uh, more, uh, more of a, like previous, I guess, that the term Jihad, the name Jihad has been like, uh, held the connotations of Islamic war, or um, to, have, to wage war with, against your religion, such as like the cartoon characters uh, against the Prophet. So uh, you've been called the jihadist, you know what I mean? So um, the literal meaning of jihad is a struggle within oneself. So I hate that the connotation of itself has kind of like ruined the name. It really has tarnished it in many ways. So whenever I pull out my Michigan driver's license or Michigan ID uh, here at the university, it's like you do get the double take and you realize it. Whether I'm going to Ohio and going to Cedar Point and I want to drive the go-karts and you pull out your ID so you can get on the go-kart to show that you're 18 years of age, you get the double take by, by probably a girl who's never been outside of the state and doesn't even know what an Arab is. And she looks back at you just because your middle name is Jihad. Or you have U of M faculty um, ask you, um, just probably a couple days ago, I was in the fishbowl and I wanted to make copies, a photocopier at the photocopy machine. And uh, one of the ladies uh, asked me for my ID because I really didn't have time to like just, I guess, play with the photocopier myself. So she did it for me. And out of curiosity, she asked me uh, about my middle name. I mean, you can label it curiosity, but to me it's uh, more of like a pre-notion that they hold of like what the term really means. And I feel like I, I always have that burden to correct them and to really define what jihad means rather than it uh, holding all the, the horrible meanings that post 9-11 has, has done to it. What did she ask you about it? Um, first off, she asked me, where do you get that name from? As if my parents have purposely gave me jihad because I'm part of some jihadist movement somewhere or trying to look for a waging war or whatnot, um, I probably tell them that it's my father's name and it's cultural, it's very traditional that one takes his father, uh, father's name as the middle name. And uh, they, they usually ra beat around the bush as if uh, to what it means, but I, I like outwardly tell them right away, uh, it doesn't mean, necessarily mean uh, waging war against, uh, against someone else on behalf of your religion. It really means just a struggle within oneself. So I, I'm proud of it, basically. I have nothing to hide. 9-11 occurred when I was in fifth grade. And uh, I prob my fifth grade teacher was the most passionate history teacher I've ever had in my life. And he was crying and bawling his, out, uh, bawling his eyes out. So I knew it was serious. Uh, but I didn't understand the, like, I guess, the context of the situation. The buildings aren't blown up, but I didn't really know what was going on. So when I went home, I guess my parents are really, really big on watching Arabic uh, news channels, Al Jazeera, et cetera. Um, so in the next two weeks, uh, trying to read up on what really happened as a fifth grader, uh, all I heard repeatedly on the news was jihadist, 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 jihadist. And my father, uh, his name being Jihad, I thought he'd have some clue on, uh, on what it meant. So as a young kid, I'd ask my father, uh, what does jihadist mean, you know? And uh, he really didn't give me a straight up answer, I guess. Uh, it was more like uh, he was trying to divert it to tell me like in the context of what happened and I really didn't understand. But hearing it so much and my father's definition included something about terrorism, I started equating jihadist equals terrorism. Jihadist equals a terrorist. So to me it was like, first of all, my father's name is jihad, okay, and jihadist equals terrorist. So where does this leave my father and why would somebody ever name him Jihad. Why would his mother give him that burden of naming him Jihad if he equals terrorist? Um, so from there on, I guess, uh, I started picking up more on online articles, trying to figure out what it means. And it wasn't really until, I guess, I took myself out of like my comfort zone in high school, later in high school, especially in college, and started taking more MCAL classes to learn like what Jihad truly meant. And I really didn't learn the definition of Jihad until, I mean, 11th grade, I'd say. And that's a six-year gap between fifth grade and 11th grade from when it actually happened and equating it with terrorism the whole time. So, I mean, that's a detriment in itself. Six years is no, like, something to just laugh about, but, yeah.